Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I am doing this fun and crazy look for Easter and if you guys want to know how to do it just keep watching and hey if you're new to my channel hi I'm Sydney and I'm glad you stopped by and I'd really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos so if you want to know how I got this look just keep watching I look so scary when I do eyebrows first but I think everybody looks scary when they do eyebrows first because I've seen a lot of youtubers Maybe it's because I have such a pale face and my eyebrows are so dark, but it matches my hair perfectly. So we're going to start on the eyes first. I already did my eyebrows and I primed my, uh, my eyeballs. And the setting powder I used has a little bit of pink in it just because I want it to have more color when I start adding all the fun colors in. And I used this one and it's from ColourPop and it's called Out of Luck. So the first color we're going in is with the purple from Natasha Denona the uh, palette 5 and we are using the Real Techniques brush and it's in the 203 so so uh, this is going to be our transition color and what you want to do with this purple is sorry my mom's playing with my dog so what you want to do with this purple is you want to just keep it all up here it's okay if you get it down here because we're gonna go back and clean it up but you just want to keep it in your crease and then just bring it down right here and it's okay if you get it everywhere because I can show you how to clean it up and all that fun stuff. So let's just get in. So when working with bright colors or just like crazy colors you just want to start with a little bit and then work your way up because if you use too much it's, it's going to be really hard to blend it and it's just it's going to take up a lot of time so it, it's just really good to start off with just a little bit of product on your brush and then work your way up like at first I started with just a little bit I just dabbed my brush in two times and then tapped it off and then the second time I dabbed in a little bit more times and then tapped it off and then went back in so now that is the purple so I'm going to take concealer and what I like to do is I like to put it on the back of my hand and excuse my hand, I got stung by a wasp today and it's just really swollen, it's really puffy if you can't tell. Okay, so the brush I'm using with uh, my concealer is the MAC 242 brush. And so just with the concealer we're going just to make a dome shape, I guess that's the shape I want to call it. And it's just going to be like a half circle and then when I do concealer like this I just like to do one eye at a time and then set it with powder just because it you could just get the concealer everywhere just like opening and closing your eye all the time okay so now we're going in with the BH Cosmetics uh, palette. It's the 120 palette and I guess it's like the second edition because it says two right here. And so we're going to use the yellow right here. He's crazy. And we, because I didn't put it in the camera, I am using this one right here and it's going on like this um, kind of it would kind of be like my uh, MAC 213 brush, it's just the, the bristles are a little bit tinier, but it works the same way. So um, what you want to do with the yellow is you just want to take it a little, like I guess a third of your eyeball, because the rest right here is going to be the orange. So just kind of like all this, and stop right there. So that's kind of just where you want your yellow. So all right here is going to be your yellow. Now for the orange, I'm going to go in with wow. this precise kind of tiny brush. It's really just, it's been used so much, guys. It just, it looks like trash. But we're going with the orange with this one just because it's going in the outer part. So I just like using this for the outer part of my eye. So the orange I'm going to use is probably, dab that all right there. And then you can dab it over the yellow just to make it more blended. I'm 
going to use is this orange one right here. This orange one. <laughs> this one in the middle right here. It's, the, it's in the third row. Okay, so now that those colors are on, what you want to do is you want to take the brush that you used for your purple and then just go over where they all touch, like all the three colors touch, and then just, just to make them more blended so they don't look harsh and people can actually tell. Like, the yellow starts here and the purple starts here. I don't know, I just like to make it more blended just to make them look like they just all come together. But if you're totally different, you don't have to do this. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Just, I did this eye and then I added my wing off camera. And now I'm going to apply false lashes. I'm using the Lux eyelashes. And I don't know if it's like the name is Gilded or not. It doesn't really have a name. But yeah, you can find these at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, all that good stuff. So these are what they look like. I've used them before. I well, I've only used them once, but so I thought this would be a really good chance to use them again. Okay, so I'm going to apply mascara, and I'm using the Tarte Man Eater one. And I'm just going to apply this to my top lashes. Okay, so what's a really good trick is that if you get like mascara on your eyeshadow and you're just like, F, I messed it up. You just want to grab a spoolie. So like I'll use the one that's on the back of my eyebrow pencil. And you just rub it back and forth. And it comes off. So that's a good trick. Okay. So another good trick um, is when you are putting on falsies and you use your little glue tube. Some people like to put it on this like I used to and when the glue wouldn't come out it would make like a big bubble and it would pop everywhere from you squeezing so hard and the glue would get all over the lashes and it's just really hard to get it off. So a trick I learned is that you would put the glue on the back of your, back of your hand and then you would take a brush, doesn't matter, any type of brush that has this round end, and you would get it with all that glue on there, and then you would just apply it on your lashes. That way, everything has an even amount, and you're not going back and forth with the glue tube and then getting it all over the place like I normally would. So, there you go. That simple. So, while I let those dry, I'll be right back, and I'll have them put on my eyeballs. <laughs> okay, so now that my eyelash is on, we're going to move to my face, and I'm going to prime, well not prime, I guess I'm going to cover up my pores with the Pore Professional Pore Minimizer by Benefit, and I'm just gonna put it on my nose, cause that's where mostly all my pores are at. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm using the Anastasia Stick, and I am in the shade Beige, and I have used this before and I love it, but I quit using it because I broke the little thing, so it's just very loose in here. So, so when I use sticks, a lot of people have problems and they don't like how the foundation looks, but I like to use like oval brushes and sometimes a sponge just for like certain areas, but I feel like it goes on a lot better when um, you have like an oval brush. That's just my opinion. Okay, so this is the oval brush I'm using and this is the Moda and I believe I got this or my mom, no, my mom and sister bought this for me when she was in North Carolina and this was at Walgreens, I wanna believe. No, Walmart, but it's like a drugstore. So anywhere you can find this, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a drugstore. Now that I'm done with the face, I'm going in with concealer, and like usual, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm in the shade Fair, because I'm white as a ghost. And then just to blend all that in, I'm going in with a sponge, and yes, it's dirty. I clean it, but it's just stained, so... Going to use the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder and then use my damp sponge and then just dab it everywhere. I put my concealer or pounce, whatever word you like better.
Okay, so now while we let that powder sit, I am going to do, if I can find it, um, oh, here it is. I'm going to do my uh, brow highlight, and I'm going in with the Alchemist palette by Kat Von D, and I'm going to take Emerald right here, and it is a green. Sorry if I'm blinding you, but it's this green right here. Okay, so now that we got that on, I'm going to go in with that brush that I used for my purple. And I am just going to go over that where it touches the purple just because I don't want there to be a line. I want it to just blend in with the highlight. Yeah. I'm really liking this look, guys. I'm really liking how it's coming out. Um, now I'm going to, if I can find my powder... Okay, here it is. I'm going to take the Becca wait, the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder, and I'm going to take it on a fluffy brush like this, and just go everywhere where I didn't put that powder, that setting powder, and work my way up to the powder, and then just brush it away. Okay, so now we're going to do contour, and for my contour, I'm going to try the Cheek Parade, and I'm going in with Hula, and I've actually never had the Hula bronzer. I was going to get it, but then why get one when you can get five, right? And for the brush I'm going to use, I'm going to use this NARS brush. I forgot what its name is, but it's just this really cool brush that you can use for contour and it helps a lot so if you're not really good at contour it's just really good because it's just flat and it does what it's supposed to do contour <laughs> okay so now for blush i'm going to use the morphe e4 brush and i am going to try the california one right here All the gold just came off. <gasps> that sucks. Whatever. Actually, I'm going to put dandelion because it's like not really showing up. Okay, so now that I'm done with that part, I'm going to move to under, under the eyes. And I'm going to, I find it? Oh, here it is. I'm going to use my Maybelline um, Eye Studio in Black is Black. And I'm just going to put this on my bottom waterline. Okay, so now for the bottom, I'm going to use a green. And this is the green I'm going to use. And I'm going to use a flat definer brush. Okay, so now that I found my brush, this is the flat definer brush I'm going to use, and it is this top green right here. And we're gonna see if it's gonna turn out the way I want it to. Oh shit, all oh, it came off. It's not standing out as much as I want it to, so I'm going to go on this third one right here to see if it will make it pop a little bit more. Yes, bitch. It did it. It made it pop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we got the green on, I'm going to coat my bottom lashes with the, why am I losing, oh, here it is, with the Colossal Volume Express. Uh, it's by Maybelline. And it's old, but I love it. It's just, it's so perfect for the bottom. It's perfect. Okay, so now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to move on to highlight. And my brush, I am using, as usual, the, the Anastasia A23 brush. And for my highlight, I can't find anything today. I'm going to use the color pop in the shade white. It's, I think it's a highlight. It's probably not. But I love it. It just works so good. So good. I get so many compliments every time I wear it. <gasps> Flew everywhere. It's okay. 
So now that we're done with highlight, I'm going to do my inner corner. And I'm going back in with the Alchemist palette and I'm actually going to use Sapphire! Okay, whatever. Okay, so now for the lip, I'm actually going to show you two ways you can wear it, or wear the eye, and it's going to be this pop of color and then this nude. So I'll do the nude first, because I'm pretty sure this one will be hard to take off. So this is the Bare Minerals in Sugar, and it's just, it's a gloss. This one's a gloss and this one's a matte, so you get best of both worlds. So... Okay, so this is the look with the nude lip, and this is the one in sugar, and I love it, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like the pop of color more, just because it's going just to complete the whole look, but if you do not like bold lips, just stick with the nudes, and it looks pretty, it just makes the eyes be more of the focus on your face, so now we're going to try the pop of color. So this pop of color is the MAC um, Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Rich and Restless. Okay, so now this is it with the bold look, and I honestly love this lip with this look. It is so pretty, and I love the colors because they're really fun because it's Easter. I just, it's just so pretty, and man, this lipstick is bomb. This is bomb. I love this. So. Now, just to finish off the look, I'm using the Milani uh, Make It Last Setting Spray, and we'll be done. <laughs> Okay, so this is it. This is the completed look. I hoped you like it. It was really fun to do, and I hoped you guys like watching me do it. And hey, if you do it or just do something like this, please let me know, and you can put the photo down below. Um, I'll try to leave like my Instagram. I just made an Instagram for my makeup and YouTube, so I'll put that right here so you guys can follow. And I hoped you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Perk! Shut up. Yeah, I, uh, I can talk for You were fine. Water. Well. Why does she make so much noise? And then we have to take pictures. Yes, I know. Hurry up. We have to do a lot of things. I think it's meant for this look, but I'm just saying if you don't like, you're moving it. Why? And I am. I fucking suck now. And do. What is that, Jim Carrey? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? Zoom in stuff is like so mm -hmm. close. I don't know. <laughs> I want confetti. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. How do we do? Boo. Boo.